Hi guys, Jimmy here. Welcome back to my channel. So there's a vlog today. It's going to be of um, a Blu-ray hunt in Solihull. Yeah, I decided to get up this morning. Um, I've done this in reverse because when I got off the train station, there was just so many people around me um, that I didn't, <laughs> didn't want to get my phone out um, and uh, start filming. So yeah, I'm back at the station now. I went into Computer Exchange, went into um, HMV. Yeah, got a couple of bits. Got one thing in... Um, Got one thing in computer exchange, nearly got two things, but well, actually nearly got four things, but I resisted on quadrupling or five times in all, six times and down on the same set of films I've already got. But yeah, so back at Solihull now, and um, went into computer, uh, went into HMV. They got their cell going on. Um, didn't get anything in the cell, but I did pick up a film that I've never heard of, so it was a blind buy. Um, and I'll show you that a bit later. I've got a couple of things from HMV as well. Um, that should be delivered today as well and they were during the sale but i'll show you that later i took some video in there um just to have a look around at what they had um but it is in portrait mode it's not in landscape so i don't know if i can flip that around or not but i'll have a try now but anyway guys i'll show you what i've got at my blu-ray hunt today here we go train back home on time that's what i like an on time train that's fine stopping short but i've got going Hi guys, Jimmy here. Yeah, so I went to Sonny Hall earlier on today. Um, if you want to see what I picked up, skip forward to two minutes, 50 seconds, I think it is. And then I'll show you what I got after you see the um, intro to uh, the Blu-ray hunt to Sonny Hall. Okay, guys, so here is what I had a look at today. So they had some Bandai. They had these ducks that were quite funny, actually. Um, there was quite a few of them. And you even had the Exorcist and a few other bits. Um, lots of merchandise in this HMV. Uh, this was um, the Batman sets. I, I'm so tempted to get these sets of Batman, the films and then the series. Uh, this was one of their M fixtures. And then this is the main fixture where they had their movies. There's a fair few bits on there, actually. Uh, this was the film I actually brought. Um, so that was a blind buy. Um, sounded quite good. There's the Matrix, uh, all four films, the basket case. I thought that was the trilogy. It wasn't, unfortunately. Did have Avatar reduced. I was tempted, but I held back on it. Um, and then we've got, I can't even pronounce that anymore now. Classic Night of the Comet. Loved that film from the 80s. What a brilliant film. Um, then, yeah, just a few other little bits here. Um, this looked an interesting cover, <laughs> but I didn't get it. Knife of Ice, I didn't either. Then you had some Kung Fu films there as well. Amateur Horror, I do like that. And this was 2 for 15 on some of their ranges. Uh, then this sounded interesting, 23 seconds. Yeah, this did sound good, but I didn't get it in the end for some reason. Uh, again, one of their own fixtures here that they had going on. This was another set of, I think, new Batman cartoons. I, I was getting confused by the amount that they had of them, to be honest with you. Um, and then, yeah, these were some new releases that they had. They look quite interesting. And then we had um, some x file oh, no, sorry, some Aliens in 4K. Uh, but no, I wasn't interested in that. And then this was part of their offers that they had as well. So you had Mad Max, The Thing. But that wasn't a Thing limited edition. It was the standard one, Meg 2. Um, sort of like the same sort of stuff that's in their sales in the past. Um, these were some of the 2 for 15 offers. Some nice titles in there, but again, I held back on it. I didn't really go for those ones. Um, and then, again, these were part of the sale that they've got going on at the moment. You know, there's a lot online, so if you've got patience and time, you'll probably find something online like I did a bit later on. This was a great buy. I remember paying £34 for this, and it was £17.99 now, and it's absolutely packed. SWAT, I love SWAT. I think SWAT is brilliant. House of Whipcords, yeah, classic. Uh, Pete Walker, yeah, well, there you go. And Dormo Man, I was going to get that if it was in the cell, but it wasn't. This sounded quite good, the moon. Never heard it, but it still would look good. Outside is a dropped in price, um, but it wasn't enough for me to get it. Then you had some two for 30s on steel books and certain 4Ks that were quite good. Uh, again, Shazam, I got the first one, not the second one. Um, Okay, guys, so here is what I got on my shopping trip today when I went to John Lewis, Computer Exchange and HMV. Um, so when it's John Lewis Festival and picked up the Lego Speed Champions, this is the NASCAR series. Um, as you know, I've got my Lego Speed Champions set up there and I've brought some more, actually. I've got two, four. This is the fit. I've got five to build, including this one. So I need to get cracking on with these and get these on my display. I don't know where they're going to go. 
I went into computer exchange and I was pretty good in computer exchange on one hand, maybe not so good with the other. So they had the um, Star Wars box sets. I'll show you a picture of them here. Um, and this was the Blu-ray editions, uh, chapters one to three, four to uh, six and seven to eight. They actually had all of them. And they're the ones with the white boxes, so the picture's gonna be there. And um, they were only 10 pounds for the Blu-rays. And I would have only brought them purely for the packaging. That's the only reason why I would have bought them. I wouldn't have watched them again. But I was tempted to get it, but I thought, no, I won't, no, I won't. But I did get a film, part of this range here, The Guardians of the Galaxy. And I've just realised I don't have Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3 on Steelbook yet. So I need to sort that out, because I thought I had it, but I don't. But, so, when the original Guardians of the Galaxy came out, this edition here, um, with the cassette tape, was going for insane money. Just absolutely insane. It's the 3D version, um, but it was going for crazy money. Um, and I managed to get this online for I think, I think about oh my god, I think it was about twenty five pounds or so. And at the time, that was quite good. Um, but it had the J card with it. It did have the J card with it. But I've taken the J card off for this reason. I went in there today, and they actually had this edition of Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the J card with the other one. Um, so I kept that J card, and what I've done is I've filled this one out. Um, because it's the same image there that isn't lenticular. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm probably going to sell that on eBay, see what I can get for it, because um, I've got a few stills I want to get rid of. But yeah, so I've got this one. And what I like with this one, let me just come around, see if I can see it. It's got the lenticular on there. That comes off. There you go. So yeah, I've got that in pure exchange. The front of it and the side of it are in really good condition. There, and I, I love the back, I love the artwork on the back. There is a slight ding there, but I can live with that, I can live with that. And then on the inside, we've got um, the Blu-ray, and then we've got the 3D Blu-ray as well. Um, so that's quite handy. So there you go, that was the inside with the crew. Um, so yeah, so I was, I was, last time I was in there, which was about a month ago, they had this. And I thought it would have went, but they wanted, I think it was like 24 pounds last time I was in there. Um, but that's what it looks like when I add the J card from the other one to it. So I'm, I'm well happy with that. But yeah, I'm also hoping that they do a Mondo Guardians of the Galaxy 3 um, because that would look good. But yeah, so that was my slightly growing Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, when I went into HMV, I had a look around, as you saw from the video earlier on, and I couldn't resist this. For 10 99 I bought Leprechaun. <laughs> so we've got five films in here, um, 10 99 on DVD. These sort of films I don't need on Blu-ray. I don't need on 4 but they don't do it in 4K. This is, but I, I just need it like I used to remember it on VHS. So a little bit grainy is absolutely fine with me. But 10.99 for um, five films. I thought, yeah, I'll have that. And then I got this film. Now this is a blind buy. I've never heard of this film. Um, George A. Romero, one of the greatest directors going, but he done this one. Um, so Bruiser. So yeah, it's a George A. Romero film. Don't know anything about it. Saw it in there, 1995. Um, you've got a nice little booklet in there. And um, yeah, it's from Indicator. So I thought to myself, do you know what? Let me treat myself. I've gone all the way down there. So I thought I will get it whilst I'm there. I won't bother um, going away and then thinking about it. I'll just get it at 9 .99. Sorry, 19 .99. It won't be too bad. So you've got a little booklet in there. Let me come around here. So uh, you can see it. So you've got a little booklet in there. And I, I had a quick look online. I think it was made in 2000 uh, or 2000 and something. I think this film was. But nice little booklet in there. Um, and it's meant to be quite good. It's meant to be quite good. And then we have like a digi book of the actual film. Open it up. There you go. And what's underneath here? Okay. So yeah, so I said, uh, Revenge Has No Face, Bruiser, Revenge Has No Face, ignored by George A. Romero. Yeah, so that was a completely blind buy, but I thought, you know what, I'm here, I'll get it, and then, you know, see what happens with it. Indicator always do nice editions, don't they? I've got a few indicators. Um, and then I picked up, well, these two I ordered online, actually, um, and one of them I'm ever so glad I didn't buy when it first came out. Um, so this one... Meat Cleaver Massacre. Um, yeah, this is 101 Films. It was $7.99 in their sale, half price. And I thought, you know what? For that price, I'll just give it a go. Um, it's It was more when I saw the cover, really, for anything else. Um, I don't think it's meant to be great. I don't think it's meant to be great. But I just thought, you know what? I'll give it a try. It seems fun. Um, and then I got 
Tangerine. Now, this was a second sight film and in the HMV cell, they actually had um, two or three limited editions. No, I think it was two. It was only two. I can't remember what the other one was called. But this one, when it first came out, was um, $34.99. In their cell, $17.99. Now, this is why I just, you know, this is a film that I would have brought brand new and it would have sat there for a while until one evening I was bored and I thought, you know what, let me watch it. Um, so I'm so glad I didn't buy it. I had to get this delivered online along with me Cleaver Massacre uh, because in the store they didn't have any. Uh, but yeah, so this is a whole set from um, Second Sight. It's the Blu-ray, you've got the booklet and you've got the art cards with it. So I'll, I'll do an unboxing of that at some stage. But yeah, so for £17.99, um, I was laughing with that. And as I said, if I bought this brand new um, when it first came out, which was, I, oh my God, this must be about a year ago, I think this Second Sight brought it out. Um, it would have just sat up there and I wouldn't have watched it straight away. So. In terms, of, oh, in terms of my spending, I'm quite good now because I'm not buying things that I think, oh, I really like that edition, I'll get it. And then all of a sudden, I don't get it. Um, and I regret it. But I didn't with that one. I thought, you know what? I'll either pick it up in computer exchange on the cheap or I'll pick it up online cheap. I don't need it straight away. Um, so my spending habits, they changed a while back. I'm sticking to it. And um, they seem, touch wood, to be going quite well at the moment. I have got two new releases on the way from... Arrow video. They've sent me two new releases that should be here Thursday or Friday, I think. So that'll be my next vlogs. But anyway, guys, that was my Blu-ray hunt um, and Blu-ray delivery post as well. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll see you real soon on my next vlog when those other two editions arrive. Take care, guys. Have fun.